Welcome back everybody to another Gotham Chess Openings video. This one is going to be unique because it's just part of a lesson that I did live on stream with Nemo, aka Nemsko. She's a WGM and she's been an E4 player her entire life, but she needed a few weapons uh, in openings that were giving her a little bit of trouble. And so I showed her my favorite variation to play against the Karo Khan, where I score about 70%. Now, this variation is also part of my E4 course, so in this video I don't go into super extreme depth, but I've put the moves into the description for you to play around in any program, and if you're interested, the E4 course link is in the description. I'll see you in the next video. If every game I would get Karo Khan with white, uh, I, would, I would just play E4 every game, because... <laughs> so, D4, D5, and what do you, you... Right now you play E5? Yeah, I play the advanced line. Okay, so if they play bishop f5, what do you do? Uh, just knight to f3. Aha, uh -huh, like this. Yep, castle, I remember, like, knight to d2 ideas, a4, a5, knight d2, maybe knight to e1, just... Okay. Play those so, structures, yeah. Yeah, so, like, the, the very... This is a very professional variation, like, the positional clamp, and then... It's classical chess style, yep. I need to change it a little bit. Okay, so... You should play against this. There's the Mikhail Tal variation, so okay. H4. Oh, play it that looks so like you a can. Move. It's like it's like Thanos. When yeah, he gets it's the... like it's like yeah, putting putting your hand to it. Yeah, exactly. So this move, I think I win like eighty percent of my games, um, mm -hmm. because so so at its very core, the idea is that if Black plays the move E6, just naturally following up, you just go here, and the bishop is trapped. Got it. So. Yeah. Here f3, here h5, and can't wait to beat some people in bullet with this. Just, just straight out of the opening, well, just trick them. You're like twenty six hundred bullets, so something tells me they won't be pre moving e6. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> one can hope against. Well, if, if people watching this are like seventeen hundred and below, there there is a legitimate chance that <laughs> that, that that yeah, you get like e6. But the thing is, with black, you get caught with it once, and then and then obviously the other main line is c5. What do you do against c5? Uh, I just take. Okay, knight c6. You just play the, the old main line? Yeah, knight yeah, three, bishop g4. Everything is just... Actually, I'm not even sure to play here. Is that c3? You don't know your line on move six? No, I don't. Okay, I just well... play bishop e3 and, or c3 and I just hope for the best. Okay, yeah, this is... this is. Or bishop... No, bishop to b5 is also... Yeah, but yeah, there's bishop b5. It's like a combination of a few moves. The thing is that, like, the... The best move order here with white is... Um, it's probably just equal for black, like black mm -hmm. will sacrifice upon some out, but I'll, I'll show you something against that. But yeah, let's just go with h4 first. So okay. h4, what looks like black's most natural move? h5. Yeah, so h5 is what you'll face the most because people really don't want to let you go g4. Yeah. Like, it, it's just annoying. So we'll look at h5 first. Um, here you have two options. So the classical approach here is you just kind of accept the fact that you have a like a good square here, and then mm -hmm. you just trade off the light squared bishop. So play bishop d3. Okay. Uh, they take... Queen takes. Take, yeah, and now they have to go e6, because if they don't go e6, uh, you will go e6 yourself. That's the right. whole point. Um, but there's one more line, which is queen a5 check, and you can play like knight d2, for example, mm -hmm. or bishop d2. I think the line actually is knight d2, so you can like prepare c4. Uh, and it basically goes like, like for example, bishop d2, queen a6. Like, they try to trade your queen. Right. And I should you... probably not trade it, right? No, well, you go e6 now. Oh, okay, right, you just destroyed black's pawn structure totally, yeah. Yeah, there's a, it's a really weird line where you basically double your pawns, but because black has to, you know, their king is out, and then there's really big weaknesses on these two squares, like something like this. Mm -hmm. This is a really wacky... This is one crazy end game, I can already guess. There's double pause. Yeah. Isolated double pause on the D file and you know, black just has a bunch of weak squares on E5 and G5. So you have like this idea. Mm -hmm. uh, a it, lot yeah. to play for. You can castle queen side, double up on the E file. Um I had a game against the Iranian Grandmaster Amin Tabatabe, and we we played like fifteen moves of like theory, and then for some reason I was winning. Like I didn't know what I did, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> um, but I. I mean, the dude's pretty strong, so. Like... Yeah, exactly. Like that's why I was like, oh well. I mean, if I can beat him, like you know, it's a boost of confidence. Like you'll beat some strong GMs just getting to this position, and 
it's really imbalanced so you have to have like that tactical feel for the position but Absolutely. um so queen a5 is one thing if they just play e6 basically the way what, what i like to do here is like knight f3 put something on g5 like the bishop uh castle knight d2 and c4 or c4 b3 knight c3 so that could be in a variety of different move orders like you could play knight c3 knight e7 they're gonna go for this square and like white is always slightly better mm -hmm. in these positions like if black does this like you could you this is obviously not a problem yeah just rook b1 and then take on b7 yeah and then you you what the way i like to play this is just expanding on the queen side because they're never going to get rid of this right uh, you play because F six doesn't look like it's going to be played anytime soon. Yeah. F six, you can. The, so the thing about F six is you can even just back up. Okay. And they've taken away more squares from themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, if they take, you can take. You will just stockpile on the E file. This is really really bad for Black. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if this is just already like lost. Yeah, it's like. Plus yeah, one. I'm pretty sure this is just looking very lost. I mean, like the. Only other thing black can really play apart from f6, right, is just to go long cast, I'm assuming. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, and then you just play like a4, etc. Yeah. yeah, a4, yeah, b4, Even... okay, then we just go for the pawn storm on the queen side. Got yeah. it. But yeah, you, you, what will end up happening if you play this a lot in blitz is you'll just be, you'll be completely winning in a lot of games. You might lose because that's chess, but <laughs> you will get better or winning positions like in, like I say, like 80% of your games, and then basically... But we haven't even gotten to the fun part. So h4, h5, bishop d3 is like the classical. Like, that's mm -hmm. the main line. But this is my favorite line. Um, and uh, bishop g5. So you just prevent e6. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they play f6, you just... You just now you, you're like, ha, ah, you're so dumb. You've yeah. weakened your light squares. But if they play queen b6... Now is where you have to memorize some stuff. So you play bishop d3. Oh, right. I think we played this line before, actually. Yeah, this There's line... There's a whole queen takes b2. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so so play bishop d3. Okay. Now... Muscle th memory. This is where you, like, you have to just remember your prep. Uh, there's there's really no other, mm -hmm. no, no other way about it. So if they take, take, they have to go e6. And if they do go e6... You just go back to the old stuff. So you just play like knight d2, knight f3, c4. Right. But, and they take on b2. Yeah. If they take on b2, what do you play? Well, there is queen to c3, which guarantees I don't lose the a1 rook right now. But I think maybe there's also like queen to b3. I'm not actually sure here. They haven't played a certain move. So you have to play it. They haven't played e6 yet yeah so you have to so play i play e6, e6. Yeah, okay you just, you just completely give the rook away all right i like this so like i said here you basically have to memorize some lines but the general gist is like you know what can they take um or maybe they play f6 mm -hmm. uh, i've lost a few games here where i've had like plus nine positions because i didn't remember my prep oh god um, yeah that's a mood so i've been there done that yep. now you have to go queen b3 you can, you're not taking with check. You actually leave the pawn here. Okay. Because they're going to spend a full tempo taking it at some point, and that will block their development. You actually... Taking is, is very bad in this line. It's okay in the other line, but in this line, it's bad. So then you play queen Yeah, I mean, B3. you're down a rook, so... Yeah. Gotta go, go for initiative. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Now, there's some line you don't even... You, like, this is like a fake threat. So if you plug this into the computer at first... It starts basically telling you that you're an idiot and this is terrible, like black will just play b5. Mm -hmm. But you play knight f3 and now the queen is trapped. Okay. So the queen has no moves because it can't take on d4. And if castles, for example... Oh, sorry, knight f6. Knight 6, then we just castle. You castle and... Uh, Threatening knight d2. Knight d2 or knight c3 and the queen's lost. And then it's all lost because the whole position falls apart for black. Okay, um, got it. I've had games that ended like this, like here, here, and then like king e8, and I think queen h3. Yeah, like queen h3, and like... Oh, checkmate, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, they have the knight, then we have checkmate on d7 as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is... Really strong stuff. This is like, like it, it melts people. But again, if black plays all the best moves, 
Black might be slightly, slightly, slightly worse, but in general, taking on B2 is just too dangerous. Mm -hmm. This is like... This is just losing completely for Black. Um, and if in this position they don't take... Or sorry, they don't take and take, and instead they go here... Ooh. With this... What you play is Knight F3. All right. So okay. Play Knight F3. My brain is uh, processing everything. And now yeah. if Queen... Yeah, so if Queen, now you at least take a free Bishop, and then you play E6, and then you're just completely winning. Like, that's okay. not even... Yeah. You get an exchange, and, like, Black's... None of his pieces are going to ever develop, ever. Yes. So... And then you word. just slaughter them. So this is considered the, the move. And this has been the refutation, quote-unquote, for this line for a while. Like, Black is just better here. Um, All right. Until recently... Okay. Until recently. So, take on f5. They're gonna take. And now, you play this move c4. c4 is a super challenging computer move. And this was uh, been discovered with, like, Leela or, like, something, right? Like, recently. I, I don't know who discovered it. I just remember someone played it against me, and I was like, what the hell? And I played the very natural-looking queen e4 check, and I thought, wow, what a stupid person. They just hung their pawn. Okay, so queen e2 here? No, 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 no. You don't want a queen trade. So just bishop right. back. Oh. And so, if queen takes c4? Uh, what's the move that you play now? They haven't played e6? Oh, so we play e6. Okay. Yeah, you're going to get a position where you're down three pawns, but you're better. Yeah. Like white is better. <laughs> All right. I like this. Yeah, just down three pawns, but we're better. Yup, got it. Like, look at the engine. Like, it's saying, like, knight d2, queen here, rook c1, rook c3, and, like, white is just better. <laughs> okay. So, you know, that's chess sometimes, really. Uh, I, I've, I've had this in a few games, uh, and you basically, like, you play, like, rook h3, rook g3. Sometimes you can walk your king over. You don't even need the castle. Mm -hmm. Knight e5, knight g5. The, the problem for black is that despite winning three pawns, there are so many weaknesses I'm missing my entire chunk of the center, you know? Like, there's just, like, mm -hmm. three lines on which I have zero pawns. Yep, but it's, like, plus one. And think about that. You're down three pawns, but it's plus one. So I technically have, like, four points of advantage. Yeah. Um, but okay. it's, it's still, like, you know, you still have to win the Play, game. Play, yeah. Obviously, I still have to win the game. Yep, got and that part. The only way you'll, you'll, you'll win positions like this is just to build experience. Like, you know, you'll, you'll have to know that queen c2 just goes to g6 and it's just game over. Mm -hmm. um knight g5 and then you pick up a couple pawns it looks uh, very slightly like the winner of french that's like the closest opening that i play that I can kind of relate to this this looks like such a disaster i wouldn't dare insult any other opening like this is uh <laughs> but we also have to remember like when we play c4 um if they play e6 this is very challenging and i and i i think I'm not even gonna lie, like, I, I I usually just castle here and just play, like, uh -huh. a combination of, like, a few... Just, like, useful like, moves, yeah. Like, aggressive moves. Like, mm -hmm. if you really want to go into this and try to memorize it, obviously, if they take, this is just made in one, so that would be nice. <laughs> um, like, that would be... That'd be kind of nice, but I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure that's gonna happen. <laughs> right, maybe, maybe if I go back down to, like, 1600... <laughs> Well, you hey, you don't you maybe you know that's maybe the thing. Maybe that's true. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, there's Bishop G five and Bishop D three. Personally, I play Bishop G five more because I find it a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else is there? I mean, there's there's some lines where after this they decide that it's time to take on B two. Like they've played the move E six. All right, all right. Uh, or they play like C five. And then here you just, you know, you need to know, like, a, a few kind of extra ideas. I'm trying to give sort of... Yeah, the, the general, this is uh, the, the, the key kind of concepts of this opening. Here's, like, another line where you can sacrifice... By the way, rook b one's not even the best move. The best move is rook d1. Queen here, queen b3, queen e5, knight e2. So now you're down three pawns again, but you have all the development, and white is again better, despite being down three pawns. So you've lost b2, d4, and e5, but you're still better. Yeah, love it. Um, Honestly, these are the kind of openings I'm trying to force myself to start playing. So I like this. This is perfect for me. 
Yeah. Uh, I, 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 but I will just say, like, I've, I've gotten this line maybe once. Like, no one... Okay. Basically, if you get a person who's going to play E6, like, they're going to play solid. They're, they're not going right. to... But then I have a few people who are like, uh, actually, I really like this idea, and this is too early. And now okay. you just shred the position open. And, yeah. Um, I have a slight development advantage. Can do this. Got it. So, H4. H5. But right. there's also H6. Okay. And if H6... Um, do well, we play G4? G4? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just G4? Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. G4, and um, this is seriously, like, this is seriously problematic for for uh, for Black. Like, Black has a few options of where to go. General rule of thumb is, if they let you go E6, you should do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they go Bishop H7, for example, we just play yeah, E6. E6 and then trade the bishop, so you can damage and infiltrate. Light squares, yep. Yeah. And then here there's some theory to learn, but like one day you basically sit down, you open chess base, you open a computer, and you... Um, you just study this line like that that's it and then you, t you that's take that's right you just study all the lines <laughs> yeah yeah but it's worth it because then you you start you start taking people's souls and uh yeah. bishop d7 is like there's a lot of positions for example um i played roberto molina in this very painful match in the i am not a gm speeches championship and he played like every line he plays allows g4 so he played like queen b6 he played queen's oh queen c8 doesn't allow g4 but i would play like bishop e2 and then right. just try to try to like force it and he would never go here because he didn't <laughs> want to give me the g5 square wait um, so do i still castle on the king side in in these lines or do i just ignore like uh, castling altogether and castle maybe castle long so there's some really stupid looking positions that might happen so for example like you'll play like knight c3 so you don't want to go c4 yeah. You want to play like you want to play against the c5 break. Okay. That's of course, nice. so bishop e3. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like queen bishop. d2. Another very useful move is h5. Right, just locking, yeah, and then preparing maybe f4 g5 at some point if black ever castles on that side. You don't yeah, you basically don't want to let them ever do this and you also don't want to let them play h5. Like mm -hmm. there's lines where black can go here and you have to take because if you don't take then they get the f5 square. Yep, don't want that to happen. Wait, you... how does taking help me with the f5 square, though? Be well, at least you get a pawn. This is like black's pawn. Oh, that's like... true. Okay, okay, I understand. So I get the pawn, but he still gets the f5 square. Yeah, got it. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll go like, you know, 97, 95, but they're like, well, you know, you, you have an extra pawn, but it's stupid because you've doubled your structure. So that's why personally, like, I'm just like, if I have a chance to play h5, I just will. Mm -hmm. um, but you do have to be mindful of c5, so you try to stop that first. Um, maybe they, like, prepare it. And worst comes to worst, you can get a position that looks like this, where it's like a weaponized French. Okay. Like... Yep, better, better version of the French, honestly. Like, you know, you play h5, and yeah, you actually can castle kingside. You're actually completely safe because of how much space you have. But it's, it's <laughs> but dangerous. Then it, but then it restricts you from being able to push those pawns forward, right? Yeah, then in that case, like, you can just castle queenside. Or you can play, like, bishop, and then put your king on, like, f1 or f2. And... Got it. a3, knight b5. But these positions are tricky. Like, I have to say, I was playing, I was playing Molina in this match, and I had a lot of games that looked good. And, you know, black is never lost. Like, you have to... Like, you have yeah, to win the game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, you know, you, you can have all of these openings that are, like, good, right? And then, but you still have to play the middle game correctly to get the win. It's not just because you got a win out of the opening. Yeah. Wow, now your game is going to be totally a smooth ride. Your opponent's going to fight back, you know? You'll, you'll get some... You'll get some very like good positions uh mm -hmm. and then yeah exactly you, you have to convert them uh i've 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 lost some i lose more games to h6 because it's more it feels less forceful right yeah 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 exactly so it's more it's mm -hmm. like more more long term like you get the space advantage and then they try to uh one of my favorite lines here is like this bishop d3 takes takes and then 
forget exactly what you do here, but like... Like, knight f3, and then this is just so miserable for black, this damage structure. They just can't play e5. Yeah. It's just... It's I just mean, it looks, it looks great. Like, he's not even just weak on the light squares, he's also weak on the dark squares. Because that bishop is not getting out, like, anytime soon. Yes. Uh, the bishop on f8 is just completely miserable. They cannot be developed at all. Which is why I think most people have switched to bishop d7. Okay. They've, they've switched to going here after g4. But, um, I mean, like I said, queen b6 is a is a pretty trendy line to kind of not push your h-pawn, but uh, then you can just play, like, knight c3 and g4 and, uh, like this. Also, a4, a5, if they put their queen on b6. Mm -hmm. So, that's... Yeah, uh, this is a good position for, for white, honestly. Yeah, like, queen b6 is nothing scary. Queen c8 is, uh... I've played this before against some grandmasters in Title Tuesday. It doesn't end well. They just completely kill me. Like, I, I get... I think of all the lines I score the worst against, it's 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 h4. Which is one of the reasons I've started playing c5. Which okay. Which we can start... <laughs> Take a look at it now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I've, I've started playing c5. Like, I, I have a course on the Caro, and it's basically completely c5. Um, okay. It, I, 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 I don't want to let people play into this misery. And then I have a e4 course for white, which is, I'm like, yo, just play h4, just spam this. Just spam h4, got it. So, taking is good. Black has two moves, knight c6, e6, knight c6. Um, knight f3 is fine. Mm-hmm. Like, you just have to, you just have to know your theory. Uh, like, you have to go and review your lines. Like, yeah. knight f3's... Just a little um, bit, <laughs> yeah. If you if you want to play bishop b5 first, there is also some merit to bishop b5 because it forces black to play e6. Alright, and this stops their bishop, light square bishop, from coming out, so... Yeah, and then... Now we can play bishop e3? Yeah, exactly. And uh -huh. it's, it's equal, but at least they don't get their bishop out. Got it. Whereas in the other way, you're letting them get their bishop out. Like, this yeah. is just optically, people like this more. Um, m the most challenging move that doesn't get played a lot is uh, is f4, which is a new... Ooh, this looks like another Leela line. This, these are the kind of lines that, you know, yeah. when I started playing chess about 18 years ago, my coaches would have never, ever, ever been like, play f4 here they would be like you gotta go knight to f3 bishop to e3 c3 knight e2 you know like the classical developing moves but yeah. in case anyone is curious that was a that was a vicious flex considering you're 21 <laughs> and you started playing chess when you were three Hey, look, I mean, I'm still not as high rated as you are, so it's not about how many years you put into the game, it's about how much effort you put into the game. I've still been playing chess longer, so, you know, you still have two, you still have two years, but, uh, yeah, at three years old, I was definitely not playing chess, I, I was barely functioning, but, um, F4 is, uh, is a, is a fun line, and, and, I mean, you basically just very stubbornly hang on to this pawn, okay. um, Black can win the pawn back with queen a5 check or e6. And for example, here, here, here. And here you have to remember like a couple of lines, like knight d2 is the best move here mm -hmm. um, to try to play like knight e4. But if you learn a few lines of f4, you basically refute knight c6. All right. So... But actually, you have to know the lines, like this yeah, is... This, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because there's lines where black will play like this, and then like this, and then like this, and you need to know what specific move order to employ against what setup. Like right now, bishop e3 is terrible. Mm -hmm. Because black uh, has knight f5, knight g4 with tempo, no need to allow that. Um, I, I forgot exactly what even the best move is against knight h6, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's c3 to try to play b4. Yeah. I think this is the best move order. Wow, but, these pawn structures are going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll plant the bishop on d4, like in a lot of those lines, to just yep. guard the whole center. Bishop guards the pawn, the pawn guards the bishop. Um, but yeah, f4 against knight c6. And like, do a little bit of research, take a mm -hmm. look at some of like the, the lines. By uh, a course? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, sure, but no. Um, <laughs> yeah, Wait, do you but, show the f4 line in your course? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But no, don't. you don't need to... Well, I mean, you can, but you, you don't also don't need to. 
um, <laughs> go, www.gothamchess.com if, if you, you know, yeah, exactly, curious. exactly. But, but, but you don't have plug, to. Let me give the plug. <laughs> you don't have to, uh, of course, um, like Anish Giri did when he uh, had that good night orf game at Vikings A. Um, but E6, E6, E6. So E6 is like the, the main line. This is what all, uh, this is what all top players are playing. Mm -hmm. um, so mm, Wesley so showed against Magnus Carlsen why this is just bad, frankly. Why, like, Grandmasters agree that C5 is just a bad line. Okay, well, like, <laughs> gotta tell that to my uh, 24, 2500 bullet opponents. Yeah, that's what I always tell Hikaru. I'm like, dude, like, it doesn't matter <laughs> if the meta is that C5 is bad. It's just, you know... Yeah, like, you know, we us plebs, we're just gonna keep playing whatever. So, um, against this, there's a few things. There's the very simple just A3. So A3 mm -hmm. is the modern main line. And, and basically, you can play queen g4, which is considered, like, the best move. Okay. But you can also just play this position like a normal person. Like, you can <laughs> just play, like, knight f3, bishop d3, b4, bishop b2. And you just get a very, like, easy game. Like, this okay. is super simple. Um, there's also a chance they get Greek gifted. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it works in this specific move order, but there are some lines where bishop takes h7, knight g5 is possible, and it just, like, wins for white outright. Mm -hmm. But if not, then you just play, like, castles and... Just defend, and yeah. And, like, this okay. is... This is a game. This yeah, is it's a, a game. game. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna get enough Carls in my life to try out queen g4 and knight f3 too, so... Yeah. Yes, like, uh, c5, dc5 with e6 is, is, I get this a lot, and I'm, I'm like, you know what, whatever, like, we'll just do, we'll just, we'll just do our thing, but I gotta tell you, I think, like, 90% of my games are bishop f5, I just think that this is, uh, this is just, I mean, uh, I have a, <laughs> I have a, I think a FM or IM from Iran mm -hmm. in my chat, who we played a mass, a long bullet match with, like is it Mr. Ago. Kusha? Yeah, Mr. Kusha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, hey, uh, Mr. Kusha. <laughs> he spammed uh, this this these Carol lines against me, and I was just like, I was feasting because I was just like, these lines are <laughs> so good for white. I mean, they're just so good. Um, All right. Well, now I know how to beat Mr. Kusha. Okay. Yes. Yes. So perfect. For example, like um, so I when I play e4 with white, like I'm just gonna quickly pop 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 it over to. Actually, I won't because then the camera overlay will disappear. But I, I guess I could show this later in the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. um, against the Karo Khan, I have the highest win percentage, which is 73%. And then, yeah, so Bishop F5 on move 3, I've faced 222 times, 71% win rate. And then C5, I faced 80 times, and that's 74%. So 71 and 74%. Um, and yeah, when you go to H4... H6 and H5 are both 73 and 71. Let's put it this way. If you're winning over 70% of your games against an opening... That uh, opening is probably not very uh, Which good. means that, I mean, that, or, you, know, you know... No, 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 actually, you know your openings perfectly. Yeah, exactly. Now, C5, yeah. like, I, I will say this. C5 is not the meta at the super GM level, but we're not super GMs. And so, mm -hmm. uh, if you're 1600, C5 is a fantastic weapon. It, in fact, it's significantly better of a weapon than Bishop F5. But, you know, some 1600s are purists, so they're like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to play anything that's meta bad, even though nobody can punish me for it. <laughs> what even is the meta right now? Like, I don't even know. I haven't even kept... Well, I, meta's to... just, just E4, E5, and E4, C5. But okay. um, it's probably more E4, E5 than anything else. Nobody's playing the Karo Khan because of how good the advanced variation is. Mm -hmm. Very few people go into this. Of course, um, of course. But when they do, you know, you take your slightly worse position, and then you... Trying to make you know. something happen from it. Yeah, 